What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Warzone 2 video for you guys on the channel. Today, we're on my top five best ranked play class setups in Warzone 2 Season 6 right now. Listen, a lot of you guys want this video, and now I'm delivering it. So if you guys are not subscribed to this channel with notifications turned on, make sure to do so so you guys never miss a banger up on the channel. We're grinding 10,000 subscribers, man. Listen, I want to appreciate all the support you guys are giving the channel. I greatly appreciate it. Also, guys, we go live on Twitch every single day. Want the FPS? Drop us a follow over there. We're reaching 300 soon. And listen, I love streaming. That's usually all the, you know, in real life, in real time gameplays, all these crazy gameplays that we got on the channel. Hey, hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I'll catch y'all later. Peace. Starting off with the first weapon, guys, we got the Lockman sub, and I feel like this is the best sub in rank play right now, and I had to mention this one because the best mobility and damage right, damage range, I don't know what I was saying right there, let's go and hop into this loadout, fam. Starting off the first attachment, fam, we got the 40 round mag with this MP5 build, I feel like if you run 50 or don't run the 45 round at all, you're kind of at a huge disadvantage because just having that 40 can definitely mean a lot in gunfights. Alright now, guys, for the next attachment, this is the most overpowered attachment in rank play right now, it has to be the hollow point rounds these are crippling power which means that they will stun your enemy every bullet that you hit them with but guys for the tunings we ended up putting that damage range to a 0 0.54 and putting that bullet velocity to a 7.84 as well now guys for the next attack show we got the lock shot kt85 muzzle what this is going to do is help you control that vertical and horizontal control because this gun does kick up a lot but you can actually beam from medium range with this mp5 now guys for the tunings we ended up putting that recoil spiltation to a 0.62 and putting that recoil control to a 0 0.28 now guys for our next attack show we ended up going with the l38 falcon t26 millimeter barrel it's actually the 226 not the t26 now what's it going to do is increase movement speed and ads speeds i think this is the solo attack attachment that allows this mp5 to be so fast and you, you run around really quickly with this thing because of this barrel now guys to tie that up with we're not going to be going with the laser because i don't want to give your guys positioning away so we ended up going with the mirror recoil 56 factory stock what it's going to do is increase aiming idle stability and allowing you to run around the map a lot faster now guys for the two names make sure to put that ads speed to a 3.84 and make sure to put that aiming walking speed to a 2.25 guys this is my mp5 build in ranked play season six right now listen arguably one of my favorite smgs in the game mobility wise and i've been loving it so hey drop a comment let me know what you guys think about this class setup let's hop into the next one coming out the second loadout guys we got the cast off 762 i felt like this ar is literally cream pieing enemies in league play of warzone 2 right now listen this is a must use assault rifle if anybody wants to get those quick easy gun engagement kills it might not be the best accuracy wise but it is the best damage range wise let's go to how this class of fam starting on the first attachment fam we're gonna go with the lock shot kt85 muscle now also gonna do is help recoil kick and recoil control as well because the cast off 76 2 does have a lot of recoil now guys for the tunings we're gonna put in that recoil stabilization to 0.49 and putting that recoil control to 0.20 now guys for the next attachment we're gonna go with the cast 10 584 millimeter barrel what it's gonna do is increase damage range and bullet velocity and allow you to actually beam kids farther and faster with this weapon now guys for the tuning we're gonna put in that recoil status to a 0.34 and putting that damage range to a 0 0.28 now guys for our next attachment we're gonna go with the aimo pv4 optic now listen this is the cleanest sight in the game i love this thing i don't really use anything else but the aimo pv4 now guys for the tunings I like to max out ES speeds and max out for the far range this could increase accuracy and allow you to beam kids from far distances and guys, for our last attack show, we got the 40 round mag. This is going to be tying this gun together and allowing you to get the max ammo capacity possible. Coming in with Lowy number three, guys, we ended up going with the ISO 45 SMG. I had to pick this SMG because I feel like it's literally right up there with the MP5 right now, especially in league play right now. I feel like this gun has the higher damage, but a little bit lower of that mobility. So if you're not a big mobility player and you're going for that damage, this SMG is going to be for you. So let's go to hop into this loadout, guys. All right, guys, for the first attack show, we got the 45 round mag with this iso 45 build i feel like having extra ammo especially in an smg like this one you're gonna need it because this gun does have a lot of damage now guys to tie that up with the next attachment we got the hollow point rounds now what these do is stun your enemy every time that you shoot at them pretty much decreasing their damage and giving you a nice crippling power effect now guys for the two names we're going to put the damage range to a 0.65 and putting that bullet velocity to a 9.0 it's just going to increase that damage range and allow you to get those quick and easy quick gunfights now guys for the next attachment we're going to go with the bruin padolum muzzle i know a lot of people make fun of me for how i say that but it's just how i say it but it's going to help you control that recoil kick and the gun control with this smg now guys for the two names we're going to put that recoil spiltation to a 0.65 and putting that recoil control to a 0.28 now guys for the barrel we ended up going 
going with the nine inch ptx trainer barrel now what's going to do is actually allow you to extend that range and that movement speed which is really crucial with this smg but guys for the tuning we're going to put that recoil status to a 0.39 and put that damage range to a 0.36 Guys, for the last stat show, we got the VLK LZR 7MW laser, pretty much tying this SMG all together. This is going to increase movement speeds and ADS speeds, allowing you to move around super fast with this SMG. And for the tunings, guys, we end up maxing out sprint speed and maxing out downside speed and downside speed as well. Just all things are really good with this weapon. Guys, this is my ISO 45 build in rank play right now. Arguably, like I said, the highest damage range SMG in rank play right now. But hey, let me know you guys think in the comments about this class setup. Let's hop into our next one. Guys, coming in with loading number four, I had to go with the ISO Hemlock Assault Rifle. I know this might not be everybody's top pick for rank play of Warzone 2, but this AR is literally a beam, especially since the Chrono Squad ended up getting a huge nerf in Season 5. Going into Season 6, this is one of the best Assault Rifles you could be using in League Play. So let's go ahead and hop into this class setup. So now for the first attachment, guys, we got the 45 round mag on our ISO Hemlock. I just like having a little bit of extra ammo over the 30 round, especially when I'm in ranked situations. Guys, for the next attachment, we ended up going with the FTAC Ripper 56 under barrel just allowing us to increase our actual recoil control stabilization with this gun it is very accurate but just having that under barrel helps a lot but right, guys for the tunings we're going to put that recoil stabilization to a 0.65 and putting that aiming out stability to a 0.36 but right, guys for the next attachment we ended up going with the harbinger d20 silencer pretty much increasing bullet velocity and damage range with this iso hemlock and for the tunings guys we're going to put that recoil smoothness to a 1.17 and putting that bullet velocity to a 0.87 all right, guys, for the next attachment, we got the Fielder T50 barrel, increasing damage range and allowing you to control that recoil control and bullet velocity, pretty much making this barrel a certified W. But right, guys, for the two names, we're going to put that recoil status to a 0 0.40 and putting that damage range to a 0 0.32. And to wrap this good around, guys, we're going to be going with the SZ Recharge DS Optic. Now, listen, I feel like this optic is really clean. It allows you to beam kids across the map. One of my favorite ones in the game. Now, guys, for the two names, we ended up maxing out ADS speed and maxing out for the far distance as well, allowing you to be beaming kids across the map and getting the best kills possible. This is my ISO Hemlock build in Warzone 2 Season 6 rank play right now. Listen, this gun is still really good. Don't sleep on it. It's one of the best. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about the loadout. Let's hop into our last one. Okay, guys. Now, for loadout number five of rank play, guys, I wanted to give you guys a sniper build because I know some people do like to snipe in Warzone ranked. And this is the best sniper you'll be running, the FJX Imperium. So let's go ahead and to loadout number five, guys. Guys, starting off with the first attachment, we got the Insinuary Rounds. Now, listen. These are really crucial, especially when playing ranked. These are going to always increasingly keep killing your enemy as you are shooting them with these rounds. But guys, for the two names, I ended up putting the damage range to a 0.59 and putting that bullet velocity to a 8.42. Guys, for our next attachment, we got the Nil Sound 90 Suppressor. What this is going to do is increase bullet velocity and damage range, allowing you to get those quick and easy snipe shots. Now, for the two names, I had to put that recoil smoothness to a 1.13 and put that bullet velocity to a 0.87. Now, guys, for our next attachment, we got the VLK LZ. 7mw laser tying out the sniper allowing you to run around faster and ads faster now guys for our tunings we max out sprint to fire time speeds and max out ads speeds as well guys for our next attachment we get the fjx kilo tax stock what this is going to do is also allow you to run around the map faster and get that quick mobility with a sniper you want that with a sniper because you never know when you gotta pull up fast now listen for the tunings once again i like to max out that sprint to fire time speed and max out that ads speed as well and to tie out this sniper, guys, we're going to be going with the rechambering speed because you never know when you're going to have to reload a little bit faster. Guys, these are my top five ranked play season six classes in Warzone 2 right now. Listen, guys, ranked play is literally, we've got a new season. I hope you guys are grinding hard with these classes. Hopefully, they help you guys out and you become a better player. If you guys enjoyed today's video, drop a like and drop a comment. Let's go for 100 likes on today's video and drop a comment. Let me know what's your favorite class in this whole ranked play section that we got in today's video. I'll catch y'all later. Peace.